All right, so today we're gonna look at my 2013 FRS flood car today. The car was flooded in Houston, Texas due to Hurricane Harvey. Now it's in Ohio and I'm trying to fix it up, hopefully. Um, so far, nothing works and there's water up to the steering wheel. Um, so far, what I've looked at right now is basically the fuse box looks completely corroded and I might need to completely replace the entire fuse box. But so far I've replaced every fuse, none were really blown. The car was uh, parked, not even running when uh, it was flooded so that's pretty good but um, basically I haven't touched, touched too much in the engine basically just trying to get anything inside to, to turn on at least get the fuel pump or the car to at least like crank before I uh, change all the fluids in the engine bay as well but um so let's take a look inside so inside the whole car was flooded with mold when I got it uh, I ripped out the whole interior uh, there's still some more to rip out but that's what I've done so far my main focus right now is just trying to get the car to turn on. Uh, basically, I can get with a. I charge the battery and the battery still works, and I can get power to uh, the instrument cluster, but and power to the car to for a few things to work. But that's about it. Uh, the battery's dead right now, but when I when you put uh, power to the FRS, uh, all I can all I get is an oil light, and uh, that's about it. Just a blinking oil light right here. Uh, nothing else turns on. Uh, so, but I can, the only, the functions I do have that work are the turn signals work, the headlights work, the taillights work, uh, the dome lights work, but nothing mechanical, nothing works. Um, so, so far I've replaced is, uh, this interior fuse box module. Um, that, mine was all filled with water, so I got one off eBay, same part number and everything, threw that in, still nothing's changed. Um, right down here, I know I need to replace this, I haven't replaced it yet, but it's a steering module, I believe. And uh, that will get replaced soon, but my main focus is uh, I don't think I need that to start the car, so I'm just going to wait on that. But if anybody has any knowledge or knows anything about 86s, uh, just like troubleshooting this, uh, just feel free to leave a comment if you can. But um, my next step of approach is uh, there's not too much uh, in the dash back here. I believe that's not that's keeping the car from not starting. Um, what I'm looking at right now is I believe... The ECU, and uh, I think I'm just gonna order a new ECU, uh, or, ch and, or check the power pins, and see if it's getting even any power. But here's my ECU, I believe, uh, it was right up here. And uh, as I said before, the car had a water up to about the steering wheel, so this is all underwater. Um, it definitely needs to be replaced. But that so far, this is what I'm probably gonna replace next, and see if it fixes anything. Uh, and then just go from there, but if anybody has any ideas or uh, some knowledge on the topic It'd be great to know Because basically I'm kind of going a little blind at this